let's warm up our voices with a song called I Love the Mountains. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills. Can you sing that with me? I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills. Next part. I love the flowers, I love the daffodils. Sing that with me. I love the flowers, I love the daffodils. And the last part. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. And the very last part. Bum ti ada, bum ti ada, bum ti ada, bum. Bum ti ada, bum ti ada, bum ti ada, bum. So you do the bum ti ada part two times. Should we try it all the way from the beginning? Off we go. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills, I love the flowers, I love the daffodils, I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom ti ada, boom ti ada, boom ti ada, boom. Boom ti ada, boom ti ada, boom ti ada, boom. If you pause the video and practice that, then you can sing it in a canon or a round, which means that you start at different times. So if you're in school and there's enough of you, you could maybe split into two or three parts. If you're at home, get some of the family to join in. Okay, so do you remember we finished our last session where we used our trifling rhythms with you writing some of your own? And I showed you a nice simple one and how you would draw it. Or if you were using a whiteboard, similar thing. And maybe you've managed to try three or four of your own. And perhaps you even swapped around with somebody at home to see what they've done or somebody else in your class. You may have tried a few of the other rhythms let me just grab this that we had because we as well as our T our main beat we had a rest there's the rest where you don't play and it was T coffee do you remember they were joined at the top with a line and they were double speed and then another T and at the very end those markings there the two dots the thick line and the thin line reminds you in music that you have to play it twice so it's repeated and the four at the very beginning tells you how many beats are in that line of music now we're going to have a look at some other beats let's turn the page here so on this one, on this side of the sprinkles, we've got um, shapes and notes and music beats that we already know. So we've got coffee, coffee, tea, rest. But over this side, we've got two notes that don't have anything. They're not filled in. They're completely empty in the middle. And there are only two of them. Now we know that one of these sections is worth four beats. So if there are two only, what do you think? Yep, yeah. each of those is worth two beats. And when we were talking about all our words that we would use to help us remember, we decided we would have milk. So this time you're going to say, milk milk and you make it last for two beats so if we go all the way across we've got coffee coffee tea rest milk milk let's clap it you ready so 
So I'm going to give you four beats and then we start. One, two, three, four. Coffee, coffee, tea, rest, milk, milk. Now, do you remember last time at the end of the lesson, I mentioned the word cappuccino, which is a lovely frothy coffee. So in keeping with our theme about drinks that you find in a coffee shop, we have got cappuccinos here and have a look at them. If you think about the sound of that word and each syllable, each sound it has, cappuccino, 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 then you can see that it's faster and the way that's shown in music is there are now two lines at the top and that means it's twice as fast as coffee with one line and coffee is twice as fast as tea that doesn't have any line at the top. So if we were tapping this out or clapping this out it would sound like this. Four beats to start with. One, two, Three, four. Cappuccino, cappuccino, coffee, tea. Cappuccino, cappuccino, coffee, tea. And you would repeat it because of the repeat line. Here's the page on the trifle book. And we've got some cappuccinos there, quite a few. I've chosen one that's the same all the way down through our trifle. And I'm actually going to use my rhythm sticks to, to tap the rhythm. So I'm going to start at the beginning here. After four, one, two, three, four. Tea, rest, tea. Cappuccino, 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 milk. Now if you notice, when we got to milk, it's meant to carry on for two beats and that's a little bit hard when you're tapping if you're just tapping so you need the sound to continue and what I thought was I could use a guiro and this is actually an agogo which has two different sounds and a guiro built in and of course the guiro is where you scrape it so if I do it again from here, one, two, three, four. Tea, rest, tea, cappuccino, 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 milk. I can make that last note there, the milk, carry on for two beats, so the sound carries on. Now if you don't have a guaro at home, the other thing I thought you could use, if you're allowed to, is a cheese grater of some sort. Because it's almost like a, a guiro with all the different notches, different sizes, all the way around. Make sure you ask permission. I'm using my cheese grater. I'm going to use this side of it, I think. I'm holding it very carefully. And I've just found a, a sort of slice to do my sound with. So I'm going to do it from here again. One, two, three, four. Tea, rest, tea. Cappuccino, 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 milk. And so now we get the sound continuing for two beats. If you're going into school every day, perhaps you could make an instrument of some sort at home, particularly a shaker because you can use lots of different things for that. I've taken um, something that had some herbs in, a little container, and I've just decorated it with some stripy tape and put some dry lentils in it. So any sort of dry rice or lentils will make a, quite a good sound. And so when you want to have that continuous sound for our milk, you can do a, a shake that keeps the sound going. 
Listen to how it sounds from here. One, two, three, four. T rest T cappuccino 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 milk. Once you've made your instrument, ask your teacher if you can take it into school and then go back to this particular part of the video and see if you can go into the four groups. So sprinkle group, cream, custard and jelly. And then if you want to change around groups and try different patterns, you can. Now to finish, let's go back to the song that we started with. I love the mountains. We'll sing it together and then I'll teach you a rhythmic accompaniment. One, two, three, four. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom ti a da boom ti a da boom ti a da boom. Boom ti a da boom ti a da boom ti a da boom. Now let's learn the rhythm accompaniment and I'm going to use the little shaker that I made. One, two, three, four. Tea, rest, milk. Tea, 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 tea. Tea, rest, milk. Tea, 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 tea. Tea, tea, milk. Coffee, coffee, milk. Milk, milk. Tea, tea, milk. Milk, milk, tea, tea, milk. Did you notice on coffee I made the music bounce a little bit to fit in with the song? Now let's put it all together. One, two, three, four. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom ti a da boom ti a da boom ti a da boom. Boom ti a da boom ti a da boom ti a da boom. Repeat this part of the video until you can play it all together. Fabulous work. See you next time.